Hi everybody, it's Grace again, and I want to show you this uh, little album that I did using uh, Bow Bunny uh, Isabella papers, um, pinks and grays, and I added some blacks. And uh, this album design is what my daughter calls a flip it album, and uh, she has a pattern for this album on uh, her Etsy channel. Her name is the Paper Hoarder Disorder. And I'll try to post a link down at the bottom as soon as possible uh, so you can go see her videos on YouTube under Paper Hoarder Disorder as well as her Etsy store where she sells her patterns um, and uh, some kits, some uh, chipboard kits and page kits and um, uh, also some uh, chipboard die cuts so you have to check that out okay so here we have um, some beautiful dies here and um, the spellbinders uh, flowers and uh, more spellbinders here and a little bit of bling there this is the spine and I wrap this around a little bit this album, of course, is made out of chipboard and cardstock for the pages. And when you open it, a little crooked there. Anyway, um, here's the inside cover. And this little page here is dimensional. You'll see that it is very dimensional here and uh, can hold an awful lot of pictures in this dimensional pocket here as well. So in this pocket, there's also a uh, flip-up tag. And that goes in there. A little butterfly, two uh, places for uh, photo opportunities. And then this little pocket opens, and there's a little booklet right here. then we have the first page and this is a lot of pink for me uh, <laughs> this um, section flips out like this so you have a place for a photo over here and a photo there right here and then this is a little booklet here embellished with some of the dies and it opens and here's another booklet all of the booklets are pretty much the same have the little butterfly in the corner Martha Stewart punch I believe this is an Elizabeth Crafts die then go on to this and this opens of course they all open out on the side little punch flower, spellbinders die, and a little booklet here. Darling cut aparts in this uh, collection. I, I couldn't even use them all. I could not even use them all. And then of course this. There are six pages in this and obviously it can hold quite a few photos we have another six by six uh, cut apart and it opens another one of the doily dies I like the way she designed this so you could cut one piece split it and then uh, have a continuation of the design of the paper if uh, if that works and here's a little booklet that goes in there And this larger booklet. And then we have this one that flips out. And this is a lovely, lovely die. I have to get the name of that. I can't remember what it was. I did this uh, for um, display uh, to uh, promote a, a class. I had Artsy up in uh, Johnstown near Loveland, Colorado, and uh, she let me use these dies, and I 
really I didn't have the package with it I'm not sure what they are but I will get that and I will post it underneath the pink and gray are really beautiful I love the subtle little designs in this paper it's really cute another Elizabeth craft die another little booklet here and then there's this this is a little crazy wild for me but I just had to use it somewhere and then the last page I do like this one a lot this one opens and there is a branch with some pink blossoms and you can um, I left this part loose over here and just glued it down right here so that you can actually slide something under there and then there is the um, waterfall with a little bling up here so pretty nice and blingy and uh, then this of course goes up up and up again and that's uh, the Flip It album in Bow Bunny's Isabella paper and it is a fun pattern and I will be teaching this at Artsy and uh, I think they're really really looking forward to this love that little die there and that's my album and I want to thank you for watching it. Go check out Paper Hoarder Disorder's YouTube and Etsy shop. And you'll love making this album. See you later. Bye.